Hey guys, this is Nick from Android and Me. We have here uh, my rooted Nook Color. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what the device is capable of once rooted and how it can operate as an Android tablet. As you can see here on the home screen, this is the traditional Nook Color home screen where you can have access to your books. Uh, you can or organize your books and magazines how you like. You have a little uh, drawer here down at the bottom where you can slide books across left and right. Um, and then customize books on the home screen itself. Uh, when you go into the menu system, uh, you have options for the library, shop, search, extras, web, and settings. Uh, the web takes you to the typical web browser, and then extras is actually where you would find any additional things that were installed uh, when you rooted the device. Typically here you would see the Android Market, Gmail, Calendar, uh, and a couple other applications like uh, SuperUser and GTalk and YouTube. <coughs> but we've already installed a couple additional applications as well. So you can either leave things like this, uh, you can use this to technically as your app drawer uh, to access anything else, but if you're looking for more traditional Android layout, uh, we've gone ahead and installed ADW Launcher. So if we push our home screen, uh, this takes us to our default home screen on the device. Uh, as you can see, it looks like any other Android device would look like. Uh, we've got our widgets, our applications on the home screen. We have our app drawer right here with all our applications that have been installed. And it operates pretty much as you'd expect. You can long press, uh, add shortcuts, wallpapers, change uh, things around. Um, as you can see here, we can load up wallpapers. It has options for live wallpapers uh, and everything like that. And then, um, you know, you can just do things as you typically would. Uh, we can see here it goes into the Gmail application. Uh, you have Gmail. Uh, you have Google Maps, uh, which we installed from the Android market. <clears throat> Pinch to zoom works just fine. Uh, as you can see, that's where I'm located. Located me via Wi-Fi. Uh, and it does a pretty good job of finding out where you are and loading things up pretty quick. Um, we also have access, as I mentioned, to the Android market. There is a glitch with the market actually. When you do a search uh, and you have things uh, in portrait mode, it only loads up the first window worth of applications and then stops there and doesn't give you any more search results. A quick way to fix that uh, is to load it up in landscape mode. It refreshes and then when you get to the bottom, uh, as you typically would expect, it keeps loading as you scroll down. So if you do come to that, just remember to flip it over and things should be just fine. <clears throat> we found that not all applications from the Android market work fine. We had issues with Google Reader uh, not loading uh, pretty much 50% of the time. Um, and then some applications seem to not scale properly. But uh, as you can expect, um, you know, it is a rooted device that wasn't intended to be a tablet. So there's always going to be some glitches along the way. Uh, just to give you a quick look, um, as you can see right down here at the bottom we have uh, a menu button that was installed when we rooted and also a back button. But when we go into games or applications that take up the full screen, you don't have access to those. So the development team has created uh, this quick key button that you can drag and drop wherever you want. Whenever you click it, uh, it gives you options for home, menu, search, back, and exit. This comes in handy uh, when you're playing games like this when you don't have uh, any other buttons to use if you want to restart or access the game's menu system. But it doesn't always work exactly as intended. There are some bugs and glitches still, uh, but I'm sure teams are at work to get that figured out. I'm going to give you a quick look at Angry Birds. It works just fine. It's a little slow. Uh, we've done some quadrant testing and the device actually tests pretty well. Um, gets a score about 940 to 960 depending on when we're running it uh, which puts it right above the Galaxy S phones and right under the Droid X so not going to be uh, anything to you know compete with dual core Android tablets when they come out but definitely enough to get you through daily use and that's just a quick look at the Nook Color